Alright guys, we're here to talk about enzyme inhibition. As I'm sure you all know, enzymes are basically proteins that will interact with some form of substrate to turn them into different molecules that we'll consider product. Now for our illustration, we're going to use this green character here to represent our substrate. And we're going to use this quad bike here to represent our enzyme. And for our first scenario, we're going to show you an uninhibited reaction in which the substrate converts directly to product. As you can see, the substrate bonded at the active site on the enzyme, and now we have this blue guy, which would be our product. Alright, here is the inhibited reaction in which you have an inhibitor that will compete with your substrate for the active site on your enzyme. So we're still using the green character as our substrate, but now we're going to add this angry red fella here. He's going to represent our inhibitor. Now watch what happens when the two compete. As you can see, uh, the inhibitor outcompeted the enzyme for the active site. However, this is not permanent, as we will see. Alright, as we've just seen, a reaction is still possible even if your enzyme does become inhibited. Basically, if you have enough substrate molecules present, they can essentially displace the inhibitor and allow your reaction to continue. Okay, what we have here is a large amount of thermal energy being introduced into our system. Many times this heat can be converted into chemical potential energy. If you increase the chemical potential enough in your system, you can start to break the weak bonds that control the 3D shape of your molecule. So essentially what you're going to do is denature your protein and make it useless. Alright, as you can see here, our enzyme has been completely denatured. And that's all she wrote. Thanks for being with us. Ooh. Ooh.